what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This is the argument that won't go away. Your favorite top whatever rapper. Top five, top 20, top 100. In this case, your favorite top 10. Snoop Dogg was on The Breakfast Club talking to Charlemagne the God, and he mentioned that Eminem has been put in the position to be on many people's top 10 list. Now, he said, although that's the case, He's not on mine. Charlemagne the God chimed in and said, well, he's not on mine either before Snoop Dogg offered up a few notables. He said that Rakim, LL, who else did he mention? KRS-One, he mentioned Ice Cube, and who else? There was one other person that he mentioned that he said was in his top, oh, Big Daddy Kane. These are a few people that he said was in his top 10 that he felt like M could not mess with. See, here's the thing about these top fives, top tens, top whatever. I do believe that this thing comes down to who you listen to the most. Because who you listen to the most is probably the person that you relate to the most. And that music that you know that that penetrates your your psyche more than anything these are the songs that you sing the most so that person is probably going to be in your top whatever this whole top 5 top 10 20 whatever is strictly subjective strictly subjective but I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. I am going to ask you guys to give me your top 10. Who's in your top 10? Who is your top 10 rappers? Now don't be like Bernadette Stanley. That's, that's all love, but Bernadette, <laughs> I asked Bernadette to name me, give me her top five. And I think she said like two people, she said like two or three people. She couldn't even think of the other rappers and stuff. But she get a pass because why? That's Brother Death Stannis. Anyway, give me your top 10. Give me your top 10. Who's in your top 10? The thing about M is that Eminem is often mentioned in many people's top 10. Snoop says that Dre is the reason why Eminem has been put in the position to be considered as a top 10 lyricist. But he said when it comes to this hip hop thing that he can't live without, uh-uh. But what say you? What say you? Is Snoop tripping? Or do you put him and them right up in there? Is he in that top 10 slot? If not, who's in your top 10? Drop a comment. Let's compare notes. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.